All right, I'm in the 1987 Porsche 911 Carrera Coupe. Guards red, black leather. 19,263 original miles on the odometer of this car. Um, I'm, I'm not sure what to say about it other than it might be the perfect sports car. I'm gonna try to <laughs> just shut up and drive. We probably won't hit speeds beyond 55 or 60 miles, well, 65, maybe 70, maybe 70, um, on these little back roads. And I'm just gonna drive it normally. I'm not gonna push it or beat it up, but driving this home last night reminded me why I do what I do and why I turn my passion into my livelihood. This is the most pure sports car driving experience I can think of, and it's the only car I would ever need. So here we go. It's plenty warm. I've driven it about 10 miles already, but uh, the G50 transmission's a thing of beauty, I must say, and um, I usually keep the windows up for test drives, but my window's going to be down about six inches, so there's going to be some wind noise, but um, I think it's worth it. It, it just feels like a new car. I don't know what else to say. gear out here on these roads. 70 miles an hour.
things on the engine, on the hardware, on the door latches. Of course, it's been driven very little over the years. And just six or so months ago, uh, or was it maybe it was last year, in any case, the experts at Auto Edge in Mata Vi, Wisconsin, which is St. Paul essentially, did a nine or ten thousand dollar service on this car. So it's got everything it needed. person get well ahead of us. I don't really speed too much on this hill because it's, you know, it, you don't have to speed. Um, you know, you go around these turns at 40 and you're probably doubling the speed limit, but it shows a nice representation of turns and whatnot, so. I'm gonna put my window back down a little bit. Just nothing cooler than looking out and seeing those two fenders with the headlights on the end of them. Okay. about the G50 transmission in this car. My first 911 that I had for several years, some years ago, was an 84 with the 915 transmission. And it was just so imprecise, it was really like stirring a witch's cauldron or something. This is just a completely different animal with this transmission. Tight, 
decreasing radius turn here. Lots of cars in the ditch in the wintertime there. Coming out, back on the gas. <laughs> oh my god. It just gets no better. It gets no better. This car so bad, you have no idea. Oh my god. And we're not doing, you know, we're doing 65, 70 miles an hour. You can have so much fun with this car at regular speeds. It's not some new 911 with 800 horsepower that you're riding the brake constantly. Find those the they're cool, yeah, but they're just the most ridiculous cars. What do you do with them? Ride the brakes. Try not to get arrested. You touch the gas pedal, you're doing 110. You can crank this thing out in three gears to 5,000 RPMs and not go to jail. And the AC works in this car. Are you kidding me? The clock works. Collect a tractor, gentlemen. Or a mail vehicle here. where I took the pictures of this car last night is right there. The guy usually cuts the grass late in the week and I kind of wish he had cut it yesterday or the day before, but he didn't. <laughs> I mean, it, taking a turn at 35 miles an hour has never been so much fun. in this driver's seat. It's the coolest place in the world. 